Hey there, garden fans, and welcome back to the Permaculture Homestead. I want to start off by thanking everybody for your recent tips and tricks and getting us through our late frost scare that we had. Uh, we took a lot of them to heart and were able to save all of our fruit set and vegetables. So thanks a lot, guys. I really consider this a communal garden project. So this is just as much your garden as it is mine. Uh, with that being said, I wanted to share with you all today what companion planting is to me and how I learned about companion planting. It's basically all from this book here called Carrots Love Tomatoes by Luis Riott. It's a, basically an encyclopedia of herbs, vegetables, trees, grasses, wild edibles, and it talks about the symbioses that plants have with each other when planted together. So I wanted to read some things out of this book and maybe show you some real world examples. I've got a nightshade guild here with goji berry and tomatoes, and in keeping with the theme of the book, I do have carrots planted underneath my tomatoes. Um, Luis says that carrot roots contain an exudate that is beneficial to both the growth and health of tomatoes and peas. So here you see I do have carrots under here. Um, these plants are not competitive in nature, they're actually cooperative. I've also got things like basil here as well. Uh, basil is said to help tomatoes overcome both insects and disease and improve its growth and flavor. It helps repel mosquitoes and flies. So once you've got that small idea down with vegetables, you can level it up to bigger things like trees. So here I've got a centralized uh, peach tree and its companions are catnip, comfrey, garlic, and basil. Uh, catnip contains an insect repellent oil called nepetalactone that when steeped in water and used as a spray, it will repel flea beetles and other insects. So it's also pretty good in teas. Um, I've also got comfrey here. Comfrey is a deep tap-rooted plant that brings up nutrients from the subsoil and you can then chop and drop the plant and use it as a mulch for fertilizer. Uh, inedible, you can't really eat it. Um, I've also got garlic here. Uh, garlic in the book, it says that when garlic is grown in a circle around fruit trees, it is good against borers and is an effective destroyer of the diseases that damage stone fruits. So I certainly plant quite a bit of garlic around most of my fruit trees. And like I said, I've also got basil here, which just improves everything overall. Great pollinator too. So that's the idea of my food forest back here, is just a lot of companion planting. And I could go on all day about companion planting. I'll just briefly show you a couple more that I got going on. Here's another centralized peach tree, and I'm growing garlic chives and thyme at the base of it. Chives are a good companion to carrots, which I also have here. They improve both their growth and flavor. When planted in apple orchards, they're effective against scab. They can also be made into a tea to prevent powdery mildew. Uh, thyme helps deter cabbage worms. It also accents the aromatic, ar aromatic qualities of other plants and herbs. So I certainly put thyme everywhere. It's also a great edible and I use it in teas. Uh, here's one more guild I want to show you guys. I got a centralized pawpaw tree here. And just to look at the flower, I've never seen these flowers before. Don't know if you have or not, but they're really pretty. Um, with this pawpaw, I've got clover, which is a nitrogen fixer. It helps feed the plant. So the clover will die back. I'll chop and drop it. It'll become a mulch. And the nitrogen that was fixed in the soil will be bioavailable to the pawpaw tree. I've also got comfrey here as well. So that's the basic idea of companion planting. It's taking a lot of plants that have a lot of functions and just stacking them on top of each other. I um, want to thank you all for watching today. If you got any questions about companion planting, please just ask. Uh, I'm just now starting to chop and drop a lot of the clover and I'll be panting my summer veggies into, into it. So here I got some squash growing right now. I um, appreciate you guys watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. And keep in touch for a two for one tomorrow. I'm putting out our shout out Sunday and a update on the animal husbandry. So once again, thank you so much guys for watching. You got any questions, just leave a comment below. 
Appreciate you all sticking around our little homestead. And God bless.